All right, the first thing I have to do is prove the expected value of the modulus is bounded. So you want the expected value of the modulus of y of t. But that's just equal to the expected value of e to the theta b of t times e to the minus theta squared t over 2. But you have that theta b of t is distributed as a normal distribution of mean of 0. And variance theta squared t. So from this given information up here, you have this would be equal to e to the theta squared t over 2 times e to the minus theta squared t over 2, which is 1, which is expected. Since this is Brownian motion, the expected value is 0, so e to that is 1. So now I want the main part, so which is the expected value of y of t given y of s. But that's just equal to the expected value of e to theta b of t And I can bring the other part out, given y of s. So you've got e to the minus theta squared t over 2. You have to use the fact that Brownian motion in segments is independent. So you can rewrite this as e to the th theta b of t minus b of s times e to the theta b of s, given y of s, e to the minus theta squared t over 2. This is a normal distribution, mean of 0, and variance theta squared t minus s. So from that given information again, you've got this is equal to the e to the theta squared t minus s over 2. This is independent, so it can be brought outside, but it's also a constant. So you've got that e to the theta b of s, e to the minus theta squared t over 2. You have some cancellation going on. So you get e to the theta b of s, e to the minus s theta squared over 2. But that is equal to y of s. So you've got expected value of y of t given y of s equals y of s.